Hi, this is Sam, and today I'm going to show you how to play Balloon Cup. It's a two-player game that takes about 30 minutes, part of the Cosmos series, and it's a very easy to learn game, but a lot of fun. The objective of the game is to win three of the five Balloon Cup trophies, and you do that by collecting the number of cubes of any particular color, as indicated. So to win this trophy, you'd have to get three gray cubes, and in contrast, to win this trophy, you'd have to get seven red cubes. Now, how do you get cubes? Great question. You get cubes by winning individual balloon hops. Now, these are individual balloon races. And there are four races going on at any given point in time. Now, the number here indicates how many cards need to be played on each side of the board for that race to be able to end. So this is my side. This is my opponent's side. So once we have a yellow card here and a yellow card here, this race is done. And whoever wins the race gets the yellow cube. Now, the valley tiles here, uh, these show that to win a race, you have to get the lowest score, or in other words, a lower score on your side of the board than on your opponent's side of the board to be able to win that race. The mountain tiles indicate that you have to have a higher score on your, on your side of the board than your opponent to win the mountain races. So let's talk about flow of play. Each player is dealt eight cards, and then the rest of the cards go into a supply pile. Now, there are these four, five different suits, and each suit has uh, numbers 1 through 13. Now, that's actually not completely true. Um, some of the suits have less cards. So, in the gray suit, there are actually not the full 13 cards, but they still span from 1 to 13. You just don't have every single number in between. In contrast, the red suit has every single number 1 through 13 in that suit. So, for a player's turn, there are two things you do. You first play a card, and you can play a card either on your own side of the board or on your player's side of the board, which is, makes it very fun because you can kind of sabotage the other player. Once you've played a card, then you simply pick up a card from the supply pile. So let's look at the cards that I have. In this case, let's say I'm trying to win this uh, first balloon hop with one card. Now, one of the things, as far as rules go, is that I'm only allowed to play cards that match the color of the cubes. In fact, let's look at this hop with four cubes on it. What this means is that I have to play on my side of the board one red card, one green card, one blue card, and one gray card. Similarly, the opponent has to have on his side of the board one red, green, blue, and gray card. And once each side has that many cards of those colors on their side, that hop ends, and whoever has in this case, the highest number of points wins that hop. So let's look at a simple example of this hop with only one cube on it. Now in this case, I do have a yellow 12. I'm only allowed to play a one yellow card on each side uh, for that hop, and I have a yellow 12. Well, 13 is the highest number, so that's a very good card to have. So I can play that yellow 12 on my opponent's side, thus sabotaging his chances of winning, and now all I have to do is play a card less than a 12 to win that hop. So let's pick up another card, and here we have a 6. So let's say throughout the course of the game, as soon as that 6 gets played, this hop ends, and the player who won, in this case I won since I'm this player, I get that yellow cube. So I collect it. The other cards go into the discard pile. We turn over the tile for this hop, and then we refresh the cubes from the supply, and the cubes are drawn uh, randomly from an opaque bag. So now, we're trying to get the highest score, and we can only play one red card on each side for that hop. Now, once a hop is complete, the person who lost the hop gets to go next. So it is possible, if I played the last card on a hop to finish it off, and I lost, it is possible that I would get to go, in that case again, two times in a row. Now what happens if somebody happens to win a trophy, let's say somebody wins a yellow trophy, my opponent does, and I have yellow cubes left over. Well, they're not completely wasted because I can use three yellow cubes or three cubes of any color of trophy that's already been won and be able to exchange them in for one cube of any other color. So if I've been collecting it, a, a certain color of cube and I have a bunch of them and the other person wins that trophy, then all is not lost. I can still use those to work towards getting another one of the colored trophies. So that's it. Gameplay continues until all three trophies are won and then the game is over. So that's how you play Balloon Cup. 